Hey, good afternoon, welcome. My name is Jim Davis, and I'm here in the Fluke Networks Technical Assistance Center trying to put together a little story for you about how we can do some troubleshooting with an OTDR. The OTDR we're using today is our brand new OptiFiber HDR. The OptiFiber HDR is a complement to our existing OTDR module. This one has capabilities to test through events with more loss, splitters for example, or longer lengths of fiber. So I had a user working at this desk and they called up to say that their passive optical LAN wasn't working and they weren't sure why. Well, we've got the free world supply of test equipment here, so let's see if we can figure out what's happening. When somebody tells me there's a problem with fiber, the first thing I think about doing is plugging in an OTDR. So we have the OTDR plugged in here, Let's push test and see what it tells us. Uh-oh, immediately disconnect the fiber from the tester. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Now, why is that? It says, hey, this fiber is live. Now, let's think about the OTDR for a minute. How does it work? It transmits a pulse of light, and it measures the amount of time it takes for the pulse of light to come back. But this fiber is supposed to be live, so how are we going to tell the difference between the light we're transmitting and the light that's coming from the far end? Now, if I want to find out if there's enough light coming out of this, I'm going to need a power meter. Now, the power meter on the Certifiber Pro can take either a UPC or an APC connection. So I'll just plug the APC connection in there, and while I'm in here, I'm going to jump into the Tools menu and the power meter and it's going to tell me how much power is coming out. It will tell me whether or not this fiber's live. Now it's showing me in dBm, that's absolute power, how much light is coming out. For the sake of this story, we're gonna say that there's not enough light coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a filter on the end of my launch fiber. Let's try that again. Now, this filter has an interesting characteristic. What it does is it doesn't let any wavelength less than 1600 nanometers through. So on the far end, we have an OLT that's transmitting at 1490. Maybe we have cable TV service that's being transmitted at 1550. We're gonna block those and we're only gonna let longer wavelengths through. This new module operates at the 1625 wavelength. Operating at 1625 is empty. There's no one there. There's no one transmitting back. That's the magic of a 1625 wavelength. So we can go out and take our shot. Now it's saying, and this is important, read the error messages. They're there to help. The distance to the end of the fiber is not agreeing at all wavelengths. My fault. I didn't need to shoot this at 1310. I did shoot it at the 1310 wavelength though. There's the end of our launch fiber. There's a large loss event, my eight port splitter, a fiber on the other end, and 2,500 meters away is actually my OLT that's doing the transmission. So here's the trace. Now if we look at the 1310 trace, we don't see anything because we're blocking it at the end of the launch fiber. But 1625 is going all the way through. If we wanted to, we could bring the cursor back here. Actually, we'll just say go to the next event. We'll mark it. And this can tell us what the loss is for this splitter to see if the loss is acceptable. If you're a mere mortal like the rest of us, you're really gonna like this event map. The event map interprets the trace for us. It's telling it that we go, I said 150 meters, 158 meters to the end of our launch fiber. We have a connector there, some loss at the connector. Then we're gonna go and we're actually finding a splitter. It has 11 dB of loss. There's my eight port splitter with 11 dB of loss. And I even have a receive fiber. There's the connector for the receive fiber and the end of the fiber 2,500 meters away. So what we've done here is we found a live fiber. We've measured how much light was coming out using a Certifiber Pro module. Then we've attached a filter and we've measured the link using the filter so that we're able to use the OTDR on a live fiber to find the distance to the events. Kind of an interesting adventure. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Jim Davis. 
We're here in the Fluke Networks Technical Assistance Center. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below here. Thank you very much.